Hello friends, today in this video, I will show you how to save load procedure in SQL Server. Now what I'll do, I'll just navigate to SQL Server Management Studio, there I will show you the complete steps to do. Now you can able to see I have already logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. So here, if I'll expand this database node, you can able to see all the databases here, right? So I have a database called test. So I just want to show you that the stored procedure is saved under this test database, right? So basically, when we will talk about save a stored procedure, that is nothing but when we are trying to execute that, either using the execute query button here, or you can also press F5 from your keyboard, F5 key from the keyboard to execute that particular stored procedure, right? The moment you will execute that stored procedure, it will be automatically, uh, you know, stored in the uh, stored procedure folder that we will see. So for that, what I'll do, I have already written one uh, stored procedure in my notepad. I will just copy it because if I'll start writing, it will take more time. So what I thought I will write it in the notepad. Let me just copy and paste it here. And you can able to see this is the stored procedure. What you are trying to tell is create procedure select all products is the uh, procedure name as select star from this product table, right? So let me just execute. As I told you, either you can execute, uh, uh, click on this execute button or you can even press the F5 key from your keyboard. Okay, now I will just click on the execute. You can able to see command completed successfully. That means the store procedure has been created successfully. The moment it will be created, it will be automatically saved under the uh, stored procedure folder, right? If I'll expand this test database, because I have executed the query in the test database only. So there, if I'll expand this, I can expand the programmability folder now. So now the next step is you will expand the programmability uh, folder. So I'll just expand this programmability folder. And you can able to see this is the stored procedure folder under that, right? If I'll expand that and uh, I will, uh, okay, so I will just replace this once. And then uh, if I'll again expand it, you can able to see this is the stored procedure that we have created just now. And it's saved under this folder, okay? So under the stored procedure folder, it will save by default. So this is how you can save a stored procedure in SQL Server. That is nothing but you just execute the stored procedure, which will by default, which will by default store under this programmability and then under the stored procedure folder. So you just expand that and you will see that particular stored procedure. If you are not able to see it, right click and refresh it once, it will be automatically command sheet here. So that's it for today. I thought to quickly show you how to save a stored procedure in a SQL Server. And these are the steps you need to follow to do that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you found this video a little helpful for you, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you'll get lots of free SQL Server tips and many more. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.